Christmas is coming, and guess what? So is Santa Claus. Some people say that Santa Claus is just a myth or just something made up. In fact, atheists say that your God is like Santa Claus, totally invented and made up. He's not real. But I say, no, he very much is like Santa Claus, except that Santa Claus is real. Santa Claus was very much alive. He was very much a real person, and he very much lived and walked on this earth. We know him in the Catholic Church as St. Nicholas, and this is where the tradition of Santa Claus comes from. St. Nicholas was a bishop in Asia Minor in the 3rd century. He very much lived the spirit of Santa Claus, and even more, the spirit and the gospel of Jesus Christ. And he very much would give them gifts in secret many times, and many times even when they were sleeping overnight. So while they were sleeping, he would bring gifts to their house. Something, if they were too poor to buy it, he would buy it for them and bring it to their house. Or he would bring them medicine, or some need that they had, he would provide for them. St. Nicholas was a jolly old fellow. In fact, I should say a jolly young fellow. He was a kid when he started all of this. His parents were extremely wealthy, and they both died in a pandemic when he was young. And trying to live the gospel of Jesus Christ, he spent his entire inheritance giving to the sick, to the poor, and to the needy, to those in need. And overnight, if some people, as I said, needed medication, he would bring it to them. He would buy it for them. If they even needed a pair of shoes, he would buy it and he would leave it overnight so that they didn't know who brought it to them and he would help those in need. He tried to give all of his money away to those in need. It said that he helped people in need through even pandemics and diseases and he was a miracle worker and he was actually a bishop of the Catholic Church and he was the, one of the bishops at the Council of Nicaea fighting against the Arian heresy. Arian and his heresy. So this man truly lived. He truly lived in the spirit of Santa Claus that we celebrate today. It is this same legacy and this same Saint Nicholas, and that's who Santa Claus is, Saint Nick, Saint Nicholas, who inspired a legacy to continue in his name. People continued, were, they were so inspired by his generosity that they wanted to give as he gave. They wanted to be generous as he was, and he inspired people to be holy. So this is the legacy that continued, where people continued giving gifts, and it eventually evolved into the legacy we have of Santa Claus today, where we continued to give gifts to other people, and we continue to try to give to others and put them before ourselves. But of course, there's no Santa Claus with a red suit and reindeers and elves and all of that made up uh, more secular understanding of him. But in the Catholic Church, we very much celebrate Santa Claus or a man named Saint Nicholas, who always put people before himself, who always gave to others, who lived the gospel of love of Jesus Christ. And we have carried that tradition down for well, well over a thousand years. We celebrate St. Nicholas. Even He even has a feast day on December 6th and he even put shoes out. Many Catholic families put shoes out and you put gifts in them in spirit of St. Nicholas. So it's always giving and giving, and giving, and hopefully St. Nicholas, and learning about the story of St. Nicholas, and understanding his life, his saintly life of giving everything he had to the poor, can inspire us to live what's really important in this life, the gospel of Jesus Christ, to live only for God and for his children. What are the two greatest commandments? To love God and your neighbor. St. Nicholas did both, and he inspires, and he calls us to live both. This Christmas season is not about decorations, and it's not about ornaments, and it's not just about parties, and it's not just about having a wreath on your door. It's about the gospel of Jesus Christ and being more generous, being more kind, being more loving, and living the true spirit of St. Nicholas, which was the Holy Spirit, the spirit of Jesus Christ. Feel free to share this little video with other people so that people can know the true meaning of Christmas, the true meaning of St. Nicholas and Santa Claus. Feel free to like this video and put a comment down below and share it on your social media platforms. Also, follow us on our social media platforms, our new TikTok if you want some really short videos and inspiration uh, and apologetics, and our Facebook pages. Follow our Facebook group pages and our Instagram, which we post twice daily, and anything else, find that down below. And if you can continue supporting our ministry and maybe around this Christmas time, you can be generous to us and help us to be generous to others and to continue giving all of ourselves into the work of saving souls and changing lives. We would be eternally grateful. Thank you so much for always tuning in. 
Thank you so much for always watching us. Keep praying for us, and we are always praying for you. Live the gospel. Don't get caught too much up in the secular living, the secular holiday, the secular worldview. Live the gospel of Jesus Christ. That's what Christmas is about. It's about Jesus Christ emptying himself and giving everything. That's exactly what St. Nicholas did. He emptied himself of his entire inheritance, gave everything he had. How much are you giving?